This section of the course deals with curve sketching. Um, in every calculus class that you take, you learn about how to take derivatives, you learn a little bit about related rates, which is sort of an application of taking derivatives, and then you get into curve sketching. And uh, nowadays with computers and calculators that can graph curves, it's really not that big of a deal. But basically, the topic is how do you use the knowledge that you've gained about derivatives and what they mean and what they are to sketch a curve. If I, if I give you an equation, you know, x cubed plus x squared plus x, and that's, you know, y is equal to that, and I say sketch that. Well, obviously you could plot a table of points, and you could put x values in, and you could get y values in, and you could get an exact curve and you could draw that for me. Sure, but that would take forever because you would have to, in order to get every little kink and every little hump and valley, you would have to put a lot of points in and that would take a lot of time. But using calculus, I'm going to show you um, a way to sketch the curve, not to get an exact shape, but get a pretty good idea of what it looks like just by using a, pretty, a few pretty basic, um, a pre a few pretty basic uh, uh, bits of knowledge about what, what derivatives actually mean. So, Let's go ahead and work on that right now. And I'm going to show you, again, I'm going to do this through examples because I think this is the best way to learn this stuff. What if I give you a graph, and I'm just going to draw this one for you. In order to explain the principles, um, I'm just going to give you an example outright. Okay. So I'm going to draw a coordinate axis up here, and I'm going to give you a, a graph that's going to look something like this. So here's the xy axis, like this, just like always. And here I have a graph that kind of starts out underneath like this, humps, it has a maximum there, it goes through here, a minimum, and then it kind of goes up like this. Now the equation of this graph is y is equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x. Okay, if you were to put that in your calculator, this is what it would show you. Okay, now I haven't labeled any tick marks here or here. What I'm interested in is the basic shape. Okay, now let me change colors here and let's, let's together, let's plot the derivative. So in order to do that, I'm going to put another graph immediately below this one, like this. And I'm going to put the derivative right underneath it just so we can kind of compare these two graphs. Now let's take the derivative here. The derivative of this curve, y prime is the derivative, as we've been talking about. You should be able to do this in your kind of really quickly now. By now we've done so many of the, these. 3x squared plus 6x minus 9. Make sure that's correct. 3 comes out, 2 in the exponent, 3 times 2 is 6, 1 in the exponent, and then the 9 just kind of hangs along for the ride by itself. Okay, now, what would the derivative look like? If you were to plot this function, it would look something like this. Right here at this point, I'm going to explain this to you here in a minute, but I need to make sure I get this stuff lined up or it won't make any sense. The derivative looks something like this. It goes down underneath the x-axis like this. Okay, so it kind of goes up to infinity like this and it kind of goes through those two points, there's a minimum down here, etc. Now, it turns out that just from knowing that, there is a whole lot of information that you can kind of glean from these two graphs, okay? First thing I would ask you is, if you wanted to sketch this graph, how would you know where this graph